Alright. What's going on, guys? Uh, Alright. Let's... I guess let's get into it. Hmm. Did not want to switch. Okay, apparently not. Hang on a second. What the? Oh, there we go. Alright, I fixed it. I think. There we go. What's going on? Oh, right, we're gonna start a new game. Um. All right. So the way I understand it, hang on. Let me. We will just turn this. Turn it down a little bit so you guys can hear me. A little bit loud. Oh, um, so we're getting out the new game, and the way I understand it is basically a Dyson Sphere it's a structure built around a star um, and draws energy upon the star uh, so down the side here you can see we've got different types of stars neutron, dwarf, black hole uh, yep there's a black hole uh, yeah right we'll go with that one I'm going to turn this up not to infinite because that would be cheating and we'll just get into it Cheeto, what's going on? Welcome, Welcome to the actual universe. You may find it's different from our homeland. Should you be able to adapt to the laws of physics in a short time, I am your advisor and will help you through this mission. Everything here is yours. As one of Cosmo and the pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will explore this cluster step by step. By using the resources here to construct the Dyson Sphere to provide energy for the center brain to maintain home life, starting from scratch. I have chosen a designated planet for you to start the mission, which has necessary resources for initial development. Now please drive the space capsule to the planet. Oh gee. We shall go drive the space capsule to the planet. I think we want to land on the sun side, right? So we can see what we're doing to start with. Ah, you have seen someone play it? That's cool. Yeah, I did play a little bit now of it. That's why I didn't put... The designated planet. That's why I didn't put in there that it's my first look, because it's not, technically. Um... I have played a little bit of it just to get an understanding of the way it works. Yeah, you can't look like a fool on a live stream. Come on now. I have my graphics maxed out too, by the way, so it should look pretty nice. Hopefully. This is Icarus, a lightweight industrial mecha with powerful functionality. You can use the arrow keys or right-click on the destination to control its movement. In this mission, you will manipulate Icarus to travel beyond the stars and create miracles. Now try to recycle the space capsule. Right-click on it to recycle. You can use the same operation to collect resources, such as trees, gravel, etc. In the meantime, hold down shift and right click to give a series of commands. You receive several items after recycling the space capsule. Right. Click the inventory button in the lower right corner of the Not screen right now. to open the cabin to view them. Uh, e. So I'm going to go down here and click it every time. 
clay, so we got iron, copper, magnet, and iron ingots, and hydrogen fuel rods, so, watch my energy down here, right, so let's have a quick look around. You can hold down mouse middle button drag to rotate the angle yeah, of view, or I'm slide doing. the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Alright, so this is actually a little bit, a little bit around, I'm going to go over here and get some coal. Uh, real quick, because we're going to need it for energy. And then we'll look at some research. Do like that. How many do I need? Ten. And that produces two. So I need five, right? to achieve ore collecting automation. Pick it up from the inventory or select it on gathering of construction menu to build it. Right, so I need another five. I need ten of them. And I need Energy is required in all mecha activities. I need copper. If it is depleted, the activity will be restricted. Well. You can click the mecha panel button at the bottom right of the screen to open the mecha panel and resupply fuel into the fuel chamber. Yeah, I will. One second. Let's see. Uh, no, I didn't want all five. Just give me two. Yeah. I'll put the coal in here as well. Playing a bit of Cold War zombies, eh? Oh, I remember zombies. Back in the day, that was pretty good. Remember the original zombies on the first Black Ops? That's pretty amazing. Might just uh, adjust this a little bit. So let me know if that audio is alright. Uh, make sure you guys can hear me properly and the game's not drowning me out because that's kind of a thing sometimes I plan on doing this for a couple of hours and then uh, I might switch over and play something else don't know yet we'll see how we go alright how much coal we got now Oh, I'll get a little bit more. So we hit 80. Oh, I'll do. Alright. Uh, let's go get some copper. Get some copper back this way, yeah? Wait, where do I land? Over here. Pretty even with the sound, that's a good thing, right? So I'm not I'm not drowning myself out with the game and the game's not yeah. I'm not drowning the game out. That's why we want it. That's good. That is what we want. Uh, I don't need these. I already know that. I don't need that up anymore, I do. Oh, so I hope you've had a good day, Red. You'll be one of my first uh, consistent viewers I've had on a stream for a long time. Replicator here. 
I have ten of them, I need ten of these. I need five. So there's one thing I like about this game is it if you, say you tell it to craft something but you only have the ore it will um maybe it'll um <laughs> automatically craft the prerequisites to craft the finished product um really like that about a crafting game that does that it's it's makes it's quality of life stuff you know Oh, really? Wow, round 88. That's that's uh, that's pretty well up there. I'll get basic logistics going. What do we need for that? Fine. I mean, I need 10. They produce. Only one per. Can we make nine? So I need more iron. This. Yeah, definitely makes it easier more than one person. Um, I remember trying to solo it when I first got it, and oh my goodness. That was brutal. Especially when you start getting up, you know, like round 40 on your own. Self cap out, yes, that's right, they do. Right, a little bit more iron here, and then we'll start setting up a production facility. No idea what a megaton is. You have received the sorter of the conveyor belt, which can achieve full automation. Use the conveyor belt to transport the piled up ores from the mining machine, and the sorter can deliver the ores from the conveyor belt to the smelter for automatic smelting. Okay. Right, so, we've got coal there. So that's probably going to be the first, first mine I want up and running, because that's going to provide me with to power. Rotate the mining machine for covering more veins. The uh, more veins covered, the faster the ores will be gathered. If you want to ignore grid snapping, try holding down the shift key. Alright. Can I... The more the better. Right, there we go. Right, so... One of the production facilities is not powered. You need to keep it within the power coverage area and supply it with power facilities in order to maintain its normal works. Yes, I know. Um, make me six of the... three of those. He's crafting up. As soon as I get one, I will chuck it on this iron here. Is the mini boss like the brutes that spawn in Alcatraz? Ah, oh, mob of the dead mini boss type zombie. Let's crap at you. 
charge yeah, it hurts like hell. Oh, I can imagine. Yep. Uh, that's a uh, jump out the way moment. Or run away. So what do you think? You like, you like my robot? It's pretty awesome. Alright, we have one mining machine, sweet. Alright. Uh, work. Awesome. Now we need power. Uh, let's look at the map real quick. So I don't have a lot of room. I can't build in these water parts just yet. It's not 150 HP. I need deals 125 with a hard charge attack. Yeah, so that's like. You get hit once, and all you're going to want to do is run away and hide. Damn. And does it dope? I know, right? You wait. It gets better, man. It gets better. He can fly. Go to the other planets with it. Well, at least that's the plan. Uh, right, so I need to figure out where I'm going to situate my power, right? There's a big area here, so this will probably be the majority of my production, so I don't want to put it there. So you might just come over here a little bit. You want it too far away to start with. Um, put it there. We'll get this. Put that there. And yeah, it gets these little drones that go out and you build have stuff. Your first power Not all power facilities has its power supply area. Use the Tesla tower to extend the area of the power grid. Me four of them. You have done building the first power transmission facility, Tesla Tower. It can carry out short distance wireless power transmission and expand so the power that can only hold 50 or click to view the current power grid information. Insufficient power supply. You don't say! One wind turbine, man! Come on, connect. Is that gonna be enough? No. Damn it. Right, that's got my coal going. Speaking of which, no, let's chuck this in there. Got to keep the power up. I want to get some more power going. Why aren't we... Oh, I didn't mean to click on that. Oh, it is building them, okay. So the best thing I've found about this game is when you queue something, like say, like I queued four wind turbines, so instead of building each one, like all the components for one, then building one, and then all the components for the next, it'll build all the components for the amount that I've ordered, and then build all four. It's pretty, um, pretty nice, actually. Alright, so, can you get off my screen, please? Here, yeah, right. When putting a conveyor belt, all you need to do is determine the starting point and the end point of it. In addition, Use the up arrow key to lift up one level, and use the down arrow key to drop down one level after the conveyor belt is lifted. Press keypad zero to reset the construction height of the conveyor belt to the ground. If you don't want the conveyor belt to be attached to the building, you can try holding down the shift. Hmm. Okay. 
Alright, so let's get some conveyor belt foot down then. Uh, we'll go that many. Cause I want one of these. Why do I not have any of these? Oh, I need stone, really. Uh, coal. Where's all the stone at? That's stone there. Pretty sure that's stone there. That's a big blue planet. Just titanium. Ooh. We'll take that. Check that link you sent me on Discord. Show you what I meant. Yeah, man. I'll definitely um I'll check it out after the stream for sure. I'll probably stream this for a couple of hours. And I'll take a, a bit of a break, and then I'll check it out while I'm on my break. Cause I'll uh, I'll jump into probably another game tonight. Got a chance to do it, so won't be starting work till late tomorrow. So get to sleep in a bit, which will be nice. Have some stone ore here. Up to seventy-five. We'll uh, get a good amount of this because it'll come in handy. Should be plenty. I keep going to use uh, right click, hold down right click to rotate. It's funny. Alright, so we should be able to come back over here and we'll build some storage. Um, so I want two for the iron, two for the coal, I want two for copper and two for stone. Multi-stream? Um, yeah? Ooh, what, play something else? After we stream this? Haven't decided on what yet. Um, got a couple of options. I mean, yeah. Uh, I'm sort of leaning towards Phasmophobia. Um, Red, I know you don't have it. I don't think. Uh, if you did, I'd get you in and you could play with me, but... Seeing as you don't, I might have to play solo if we stream that. And that's going to be kind of not really, well, terrifying, but fun. <laughs> or I might uh, do some Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption online. Possibly. Really? That's still not built. Oh, that's right. It's going to build enough for eight. My bad. <laughs> I mean, I've got a bunch of other games that I could play. Like, I own a few. Oh, did you check out the link that I put in the description? Got... Uh, my name with dot com on the end. You should check that out. I have my own web page, bro. It's pretty awesome, actually. Um. Right. Now I don't know if 
if I can run conveyor straight into this. You built try. a storage, which can be used to store cargo. You can manually store or use the sorter to no, automatically so. stock the cargo. That's right. Alright, so we are gonna we're gonna jam three intakes onto this. It will automatically transport them as long as the supply facility and the receiving um, I need the top down view. Yeah. We. Alright, there we go. So we got iron coming in, just nicely. It's actually nearly keeping up too. So I discovered it in my, my little first look to myself, just so I could get familiarised with what I'm doing. So you double stack these, once that bottom one fills up, it'll start putting in the top one. Which is pretty amazing. Alright, so let's get two down for the coal here. Two down, get my logistics going there. No, why, why did you go like that? Because you want to, apparently. Oh, no, I'm out. Apparently. I mean, these can I make? Uh, we're gonna make ten of these because you need these for like everything. Copper vein right there. Ah, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll 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 chuck it on there. We might as well. Uh, mining. Spin you around. Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. Oh no. We get all of them. Yep. Two storage out for that. One, two. We'll get the conveyor belts in here. Lack of items, really. Got pain in my butt. So that builds three at a time. So we'll build. Uh, we'll build as many as we can. Be right back. No worries. Take your time. Just gonna get around and improve the base a little bit. Get the production running. Oh, I need power to this place. Not in there. Get as far as I can with that to there. I'll get that powered up. We get copper coming in. Down here to look straight down here. And I'll go there to there. I'll grab these. Put the intakes on the bottom. Did I do that right? Yeah, I did that right. Good. Wait. Why isn't that? Oh, I did them around the wrong way. My bad. Take them and pick them back up. Oh, logistics. So you got to go from the conveyor belt to the storage. Conveyor belt to the storage. Um, if you want to output, you go from the storage to a conveyor belt. Easy peasy.
So what? I must have done the same thing over here. I've done it the wrong direction. Zoom in a little bit here. Alright, so get a convey belt there. There we go. But, we've got all made, well, not quite. I need to do one for stone as well. That is... That direction. Way over there. Looks like I can find one closer. Doesn't look like it. There's plenty of iron around. Um, right, so looks like we're going this way. So we'll take a tower with us as far as I can. Right, so I need to build more of these. Copper and iron. What am I short on? Uh, so I have copper. I have stone. Looks like we are short on iron. Good thing I have an iron mine going. Now I can just walk to here. Open that. Yeah, look at that. There you go. 200 iron straight up. How good is that? Tesla Tower, like ten of them. Should be enough to get me over to the stone here. I'll slap a mine on it. And it will be gold. Now you want to try and get as many ores veins as you possibly can. I'm just going to spin this again. Alright, so we lost one there. So that's about as many as we're going to get. Tesla Tower's coming in. Can put one there. And I can put one there. That should power that. Yes. Perfect. We'll do a double storage. Conveyors from there. Ooh. No, we'll go like this. Looks a bit tacky, I know, but it is what it is. No, that's nearly the wrong way again. Here we go, stone coming in. Beautiful. Now we are getting somewhere. Right, uh, let's have a quick well, another look at our research here. Basic assembling. Electromagnetic drive. I need electromagnetic matrices. Put those in those. Not for that one though. So we'll grab it. And then it'll be that. Right. So we need only ten gears. We need ten of those as well. There we go. We're doing alright currently. Uh, I should probably check on my tower situation. Oh, it's nearly, nearly maxed out. A minute. Uh, looks like my coal's run out. On my suit. I'm just gonna grab a bunch of this, and then I'm gonna jam it in my suit here.
point so. Um, let's stack that up. Keep my inventory organised. Over there. And that can go there. Right. Research result. You have unlocked the assembling machine Mark 1. You can make iron and copper ingots into more advanced products, but speed is slower. Okay, so. That means we can start production on stuff. So we're going to want a refinery right there for the iron. Which gives smelt basic materials. Such as iron ingots and one here for the copper. I think I'm going to want one for the stone too, if I remember correctly. Um, so a quick look here. So I'll tell obtain from smelting stone, yep. So we'll go and put a smelter over here as well. You have a building without recipe set. Please set the recipe you want. After selecting the recipe, I'll set the recipe you can use less ready. to copy the recipe. Um, the to paste the next I'm gonna put it to set the same recipe. Here. So the reason I'm doing this is I'm not going to pull straight out of these storages. Um, actually, what I might do is I'm going to take one of these off on each, and I'm going to put it over the back here. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Because what I can do. that down there is now I can just grab these and go straight along to about there and then we grab these into there into there into there so once this fills up it'll start feeding the smelter so I always have access to raw resources if I need them Awesome. Guess I know what game we're playing later. <laughs> um, but yeah, to, so After <coughs> the recipe, you can use the less than key to copy the recipe. Let's have a look at the, the map here. So this is the world planet I'm on. Needs to set the same Ooh, that sounds terrible. The view mode, you can hold down we're the just gonna button move track. away. Rotate the angle of view. And hold down and the right mouse button. Drag to roll the angle of view. Press N key to point to the front to the north pole. So obviously you got the north and you got the south poles. Uh, but then if I in the planet view mode, slide the mouse wheel to enter the star map. Zoom out. There's the big blue planet. You can see in the background. We zoom out some more. You got another planet. Another planet. You got the star. Zoom out even more. Just shows you how big the scope of this game is. Uh, so each one of these are stars. Obviously. Uh, I'm not sure if they have their own planets. Unreachable requires drive engine. Um, like this blue giant. And you've got K type stars, G type, I believe. Arnab is a G type star. Alright, so let's see. We'll have a look at another G type. One Gillen Bay. Alright, so I don't get any information about that, that star. Probably not until I go there. Requires universe exploration level four. Right. First try to get the god mode glitch to work, and you did it perfect. Really? I didn't even know there was a god mode glitch. There you go. Okay, so 
So now this one started filling up the top. Um, but I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to take that down. Gives me the resources that were in it. Also gives me the storage back. Uh, I've got enough. I don't think I have enough to... Oh, I do have enough. There you go. I don't have any of them though, apparently. Uh, we need to do more conveyors as well. And then we will start smelting away. Sweet, got sorters already. That was quick. Oh. No, that way. Right, now I need power. Put that on there. Grab a recipe. Uh, that's iron, so we're going to make iron ingots. Do I have another one of these? No, I don't. Uh, so I'm going to produce one of them as well. Because iron, you can get multiple components from just iron. So you get the magnet as well. Uh, so we need a smelter for that too. The best part is the way I do my design works is obviously the line stops because the smelt is busy, we can't hold any more. So while that stops, the next smelter can take its requirement. I wonder what happened to Mag. I did send Mag the link to the, the video as well, the live stream. Oh, that's going to be an issue. See how close that is? That's going to be a problem. I'm just going to move that over a bit. So at least I can run a conveyor there or here. Um, so I want to put a storage down for that. Right there. Did we get our conveyors yet? We did. Beautiful. We put them there. And this is where you'll see the difference. So I start on there, go to the conveyor. 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 And then from the conveyor back into the storage. There we go, we have steel plates. Well, ironing it's I personally think they should be called steel plates because that's what they look like. Uh, right, so we need magnets and we need circuit boards. So what do we need to make these? I could make heaps of them. So I need five of them. And I need five slots of those. That's ten of each. And then we'll be down to doing matrixes. So what do you think of uh, Dyson Sphere program? You should smash that like button just because you know it looks interesting.
Finish up with the stone, yes we did. So it's working away as well. No, it's um it is in early access, so there is a lot still left to be sorta of worked on, obviously, but it has a lot of potential. That's still filling up. Alright. Nice. I'm just going to move this because that's going to be a pain in the butt too. Uh, just mean all that. Oh, no power. Oh, no power. Um, put it over here if I can. Right. Here we get. This is going to seem a little counterproductive, but yeah, I don't like that. That looks terrible. Uh, -uh. we all in back. Um, so we're going to go this way. There and then to there. And we're gonna pull out of here onto there. I'm out of them again? Wow. Uh yeah, here we go. I'll make twenty of them. Screw it. Mine faster stone. We need to start smelting bricks. Oh sweet, that was quick. Alright. Oh there we go, we've already got bricks. So we did produce some bricks. I don't know what happened there. Apparently they did get bricks going there, but two will do. It's not going to be that quick. Um, we'll get that in there, that one in there, and that one in there. Beautiful. So now I have storage on those. I think. I'm missing copper. Where's my copper line? It's over here. Um, so I'm just going to dismantle that one. Now this is pretty slow because there's not that many ores here. There's only six veins to access. So it's going to mine fairly steady. Well, that is nearly full. Which is good. Um, so what we'll do is we'll extend this. Go into there. Into there and into there. Oh, oops. I'll come along a bit to there. I need a storage for here. Logistics. I will come out. Probably don't need three on that because it's not going to really smelt that quickly. Um, you are going to make copper ingots. Because this will back up once that fills up. How's our power looking? Why is it 
dropping down. What's going on over here? Yeah, see, this is pretty slow. Insufficient power supply. Really? Okay. If that's the case, then we need more turbines because I can't make anything else. Make another five real quick. It looks like we need more magnetic coils. My aircon is struggling right now. It's so hot. Here, we have upgrades to do. I uh, can't do you yet. I can do you. Uh, and then the copper started producing. It has. Have I done here? Oh no, it's the wrong way around. No, that one and that one. And there to there. There we go. We'll let that get to a hundred or oh, eighty ish, and then we'll grab it. So we've got the even amount of both. Sucks that I didn't. It's so damn hot, and there's like a storm cloud above us at the moment, which is why it's so damn hot and muggy. Um, I just wish it rained. If it rained, it'd be nice. It'd cool down pretty quick. Middle of summer. Crude oil. Hmm. Interesting. Mechanical frame. What do I need for that? Electric motors I don't have. Can't do them. Can't do that yet either. That I could do. Because that's only coal or in magnets. Let's do that. Um, right. So magnets. What do I need for magnets? No, I need 60. I can only make 4. I need more of them, apparently. And this is why I have this. Let's grab a bunch of that. And then I can go here, go here. Now I can make 126. Uh, 20, 40, 60. Should be heaps. Oh, the sun is setting. Goodbye, son. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> the 
so you've taken that coal out of my inventory, yeah? Better not be taking it out of my suit. That would be a pain in that I guess. <laughs> Right, so research. We have this thing. Um, right, we need to go over here because this is where our main base of operations. No, that wasn't it. Where is it? It's a big area. Well, maybe that is it. When being outside, outside of building range, range, you can hold down the shift key and use the right mouse button to click on the open space to control the mecha to move. Oh, you like that? Yeah, right here. You don't need to go over there. I think it was here that I was going to build, wasn't it? A big area. Lots of trees and stuff. Um, alright. So, we're going to plant this down. Right there. Matrix Lab. You can use it to make super matrices or research technologies that require them to unlock. What does that require? The super matrices are the source Sex code of the and magnetic coils. For maintaining the home world. You can upload as many super matrices to the center brain as possible. You can be benefit to unlock more actual world technologies by operating the home world simultaneously. Uh, we're gonna put our production facilities just here for now. We need another one of them. I'm going to probably need heat of them, make five. <clears throat> so, we're not doing too bad. Um, I do need more power though. That's, that's what I really need. So, we'll just... Um, get some more power going here. There we go. Oh, hundred percent satisfaction. You can now fly and increase the move speed one hundred fifty percent in the flying way. Double press space key to lift off. Really? You have you're, you're ready for this? Double Ooh, we are about to fly. And then use the arrow keys to control mecha movement. Ha! Increase by one hundred and fifty percent. With more energy consumed, by your no. pressing the Alt key can return the mecha to the ground during the flight. Uh, I can get some more height. Alright, cool, that's full. How cool is that? I can fly, bro! Woohoo! Alright, so we want this to make those. So I need copper and ing and iron ingots to go here. Right. Well, here's our iron ingots right here. And our copper is over there. So that's uh, quite a distance to cover. Right, that's what conveyor belts are for. Right, so we start off here. We'll put three down. Oh, actually we'll put five down. And then, I press the up arrow. Yeah, it is. It's the up arrow. I can make it go higher. Oh, why it's doing that? Well, we don't need to go that high. Actually... Yeah. What? Must be horizontal when turning. 
start there. I got right one. I'm not turning. End point must be horizontal. That doesn't make sense. I need more. That's my problem. I'll run out, man. I only got eight. Three. Did have eight. Yeah, so the only downside about flying right now is I'm powering my suit with coal. And it's kind of terrible if you didn't notice. My battery is down the bottom in the middle there. 139 MJ. Uh, yeah, it's not not good. No, why are you there? Right. Okay. So now this is the thing: floating conveyor belts. drop down I want to come along oh, to there it's waiting on another 30 to be built before I can finish that placement there we go put them to there and I just got to do the same with the copper oh, I need more of these going to need power to awesome uh, so we want to go from conveyor to there go to there go to there we might actually pick that thing up so I'll move it, it doesn't need to be all the way over there. Um, and then I want to... See, I might do the same thing as what I've done with uh, this. It's going to take a while. But I'll join them up. That way once this fills up... I mean, I can force this to fill up. Let's go like this. Like that. So when that stack hits 100, it'll start sending plates or ironing it all the way down to the assembler. The assembler. Um, just going to grab some more coal real quick. No, it's actually shut off. It's full. Um, because I want to fill this back up. Okay. We might do the same with this. We'll just grab these and run it straight along here. Raise a little bit. Get in the way of anything. There. Across. No, it's going to be in the way. So I need to go to that line. Now I can come across to here. Now I can go down. We don't actually need that one on the end. <coughs> Yeah, we 
looks like a story just thought. <coughs> Work that conveyor back up, and then I'll open up the storage again. Fly, my little worker bees! Fly! Which will work faster from right here. Come on, chop chop. Let's go. That's backed up, yeah. Yeah, all the way. So we'll just open this back up now. Uh, close, close. But still need to put these. think that's only the electronics that's not the magnets I haven't done the magnets yet um, send them straight through what have I been streaming for uh, hour and ten currently. Actually, an hour. Uh, I had a ten minute timer before I started. And there you go, we are now making circuit boards. Be nice if I could hide that, then you actually see what's going on in here. Oh wow, is that full? That can only hold 20? Well, that could be an issue. Oh, really? Um, well, let's just put that there. And then I need another three there. So I can put a storage. <laughs> Apparently I don't have any storage. Uh, I'll put a storage in there and start filling up storage with them. You know what I didn't account for? Was this. Another refinery. I didn't put one in. Actually, now I think about it. Oh, I can't put it in there. Cause this only goes one way. I can't split it. What I can do. I wonder if I can put it here maybe. I wonder how long those these things reach. Oh they do. Oh wow. That's uh, quite a reach they've got. Lack of, really. Not have much luck there, am I? Um, so I want to put that there. I need to put those coming out and then pulling in. And that'll, uh, I think that'd nearly wrap up the live stream to be honest. Do 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 do. Well, this live stream anyway.
Okay. We're just gonna put these on first. Understandable. Yeah. I mean, I still have another part that I need to make. Um. So I still need to make. What do I need? Oh, where is it? Put this down over here somewhere. Cause I still need these mag magnetic coils, uh, which is two magnets, one copper. Well, I already have the copper line in right there, um, but I don't have magnetic coils being produced, which is actually a two-part process in itself. It's still not full. Fine. Um, which is what I built this for. Because that's going to make magnets. Did I? Oh, I did it again. I just ran the wrong way. You now I have to be careful what I'm clicking, because I'll delete the wrong damn thing, and I'll break everything. Alright, so I want to come from this conveyor, just, you know, over there, to there. Now, unfortunately, that's only going to pull one at a time, because there's no more room there. Who does it need? Oh, that's not too bad. Bit steady. Steady Eddie. Oh well. Thanks for uh, coming and hanging out while we played some Dyson Sphere. We've got a fair bit done. Can't even fly. Can't argue with that. So uh, hopefully you'll come back and we'll w watch again next time. I will be starting another live stream in probably half hour. We're going to play some Phasmophobia. And I think I'm going to get Red to join me, so I'm not by myself, because, yep, it's one of them games. Really good game to play in the dark, but we'll see how we go.